Hello, everybody, and welcome to Vault Hunters. We're back. It's been a while. Uh, we're in a brand new world. Uh, I know I said I wasn't going to leave Butland behind, but uh, I updated to the latest version of Vault Hunters in Butland, and my game kept crashing. So we're here in a brand new world. This is Buttopia. Just happened to spawn here. Uh, like I just said, Vault Hunters has had a new uh, update that has introduced a new quest book. Uh, so I figured we'd jump back into Vault Hunters for the first time in a while and uh, check out the update and uh, see how it goes. We're going to uh, check out the new, the new spawn. I thought it was pretty. We got a nice uh, nice forest. bit kind of, you know, cottage core vibes, which is cool with me. I'm down. And it looks like there's a village, like, just right over here as well, which is cool. This is going to be a good place to start. Looks like we've got, like, a, uh, a ravine, a big crevice here as well. Which leads into a massive cave as well. Oh my god, this is the this is a great start. What's that down there? Oh my goodness, so much to explore. This is a brain. Uh, there is no seed connected to this. Um, I didn't type in anything specific. This is just a completely random chance to find this. This is incredible so far, though. There's a castle. There's people. A bustling city. Looks like there's a greenery up there. Oh my goodness. Hello. Oh, a brand new bustling city. What a great place to start. Well protected as well. They've got plenty of iron golems. They've got these trees that, oh my god, go right down into the into the cave. This person lives in the cave. There's a cave dweller. Oh, Their bell is down here. This is the coolest village I've ever seen in my life. Holy crap. All right, well, do we, maybe we claim this house? Do we claim the, ca the cave house? I kind of want to. How do I get down without dying? Okay, it's fine. Hello, small boy. How are you? I might steal your house. Respawn point set. Excellent. I don't need to worry about finding sheep. We live in this cave now. This can be our base. This whole area. I can light this up a little bit more and we can just live here. This is perfect. Maybe we'll clear out the children and the creepers. Probably a good idea. All right, I'm not used to starting with like so much to look at. We've got to... We gotta do basic Minecraft stuff first. We gotta go. Uh, we gotta go punch some trees. How do I get out of here now? Hmm. Is this a water elevator? Will this take me up and out? It doesn't look like it. Uh. All right. Well, we're down here. We've gotta try to get back out. Let's see. Oh. Okay. All right. We made it out. That was uh, a bit annoying, but it's fine. We'll keep that in mind for next time we go down there. Maybe we won't take that house right away. I do want to live in this village, though, because this is a nice uh, nice place to make residency, you know? We've got access to a lot of stuff already. Um, villagers have changed in this new update, so I don't think we're going to need to kidnap and capture uh, a bunch of them, um, like last time. Uh, but that could change. I, I really don't know much about the new update. I haven't really been paying attention to the updates kind of since, since January, really. Because um, as cool as the constant updates have been... Uh, it was uh, kind of kind of annoying. I don't want to look a gift horse in the mouth because the constant updates have been amazing. But having to update everything and having everything change every uh, every every week uh, was was getting hard to keep track of. So I figured, you know what? I'll take a little break. I'll come back to Vault Hunters once uh, once everything seems to be kind of more set in stone, and uh, we'll we'll take another look and, and see how it goes. And like I said, this update seems to have quite a lot of good stuff in it. Um, especially if you're just starting out. Uh, so, we are going to try to get some stuff here. Uh, we don't need a wooden axe. I always make a wooden axe, but you don't really need a wooden axe, ever. You just need a pick. You just need a wooden pick. As soon as you've got a wooden pick, you can get stone and you can make stone tools. You can skip right over the wooden stuff. You just don't need it. Um... So this is Vault Hunters. For those of you guys who may not know what Vault Hunters is, hello, welcome to Vault Hunters. I'm very new at it myself. I come off like I know lots about it, but I do not. I do not. We are going to discover this together. This is a mod pack um, made by Iskal and his uh, his mod team and, and creative team, um, which is basically uh, very very dungeon dungeon crawly, filled with filled with dungeons and and random chances and loot and popping off when you get excited because you got a good drop very very good stuff very good rpg stuff uh so we're gonna we're gonna like i said look through the quest book and kind of get a bearing on what we need to do next and just make our way into a vault grab some loot get powerful get really strong beat the game win 
get 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 all the ladies. All the single ladies, all the single ladies. I'm just gonna get some basic tools uh, before we really get in. Um, we just need a quick sh sword, just like this. Bada bing, bada boom. And now let's see if we've got like a, a food source here in the uh, in the old uh, town. We're gonna need a we're gonna need a name for this town. Uh, leave a comment below. Below, look at that. I'm asking for comments now. <laughs> Back on the YouTube grind, baby. All right. Uh, <laughs> leave a comment on what you think this town uh, could be called. Maybe like uh, maybe some sort of mushroom name, like a mushroom town, or or like an, an autumn town, a cozy town, cozy fall town. I, I've got no idea. Uh, let me know. Let me know what you think. I love this greenhouse. Look at this. This is incredible. This is a beehive. Bees live here. And you're a, are you a, you're a farmer. Okay, you're not a beekeeper. You don't want to keep bees. It's too bad. I need food. I'm about, I'm, I'm starving. I'm very hungry. I'm very hungry, Mr. Cow. And I'm sorry about this. But. You. Uh, circle of life and all that. You will, you will save me, and then I will go on to become tender and yummy and yum yum yum. Uh, and then I'll die, and I'll go back into the grass, and then your great grandfather or great grandson will probably uh, eat me then, and then it goes all the way around, you know, around and around and around we go, and then one of us goes to live with a warthog and a little little meerkat. That reference is probably done now. I could probably stop. We don't need to talk about the Lion King anymore. Look at all this meat I've got. All right. Hopefully, uh, we've got someone back here that has uh, has a furnace. Because I don't have a furnace yet. Although, I could probably make one very easily. Not like that, though. There we are. Uh, and we've got some wood. So, we can actually cook some beef. The wood's not going to last long, though. Really need some coal. We'll have to do some mining, which uh, I will probably cut from this YouTube video just to save you the trouble. I'm going to try to cut out a lot of the early uh, Minecraft gubbins that we're just sick and tired of seeing. We don't need three and a half episodes of me mining under the ground to try to find chromatic iron. So I'm going to just try to, you know, determine what our quest is, and then there's going to be a jump cut to when I finish it. So you don't need to sit through all, all the nonsense. Or that's my plan, anyway. We'll see what happens. We will see what happens. All right, we'll keep our we'll keep our meat uncooked for now, um, and we'll head on into the castle. Maybe that's maybe, should we live in the castle? Is that is that too is that like too much? Is it weird to just show up and then say, "Hey, I live in the castle now. It's my castle." Hey, everybody. Is there good stuff in here? Oh, there's a... What are you? What do you do? Weaponsmith? There's, like, everything I need here for Vault Hunters. All of the villagers that you might need, they all live here in this one one castle place. Oh, this guy's got cake for me? It's not even my birthday. But thank you anyway. Well, I guess, you know what? This is a brand new world. This, this room is amazing. And it's got a storage chest for me and everything. Already. Oh, this is perfect. All right, this is where we live now. This is our house. I'm going to put down a furnace. This is amazing. We've got some books as well. Some item frames. Feather falling and efficiency one. That's amazing. Some paper, some paintings. Some cobwebs. We can probably clear those out. Glass bottles and spider eyes. These are all, this is all like necessary good stuff. I like this. I like this. What's in the barrel? Oh, we got plenty of food in the barrel as well. You know what? I like it here. Let's uh, let's keep let's keep just the food in the barrel though. Let's uh, let's get let's get organized. We need like a bookshelf, like a book bookcase. For now, we'll put our books in there, except for this one. We need that. The leather can stay. That can go in there. Um, we can store everything else for now. Wooden pick. That can all go in there. We're gonna we're gonna fill up on gubbins pretty quickly, I would imagine. Uh, can we sleep? Yes. Yes. Let's have a let's. End our first day. Look at that. And then up uh, bright and early for day number two. All right. Uh, I want to get some coal. 
because I want to get a little bit more food before we kind of start in on the Vault Hunter stuff. There is just a little bit of regular Minecraft stuff that you need to do at the beginning of this, but hopefully we'll get through it pretty quickly. Let's see. No, I'm not. I'm not super good at Minecraft. I, I play it a lot, but that doesn't that doesn't mean anything. Just because you play something a lot doesn't mean you're good at it. All right, we're going down back down into the cave. We really, really need to uh, get a better way up and down from here, but you know we'll get there eventually. Oh no! Monster hunter, let's go. Uh, oh wow, yep. Yeah. Plenty of uh, plenty of baddies. I gotta get this place torched up. Torched up. Alright. Let's keep our eye out for coal. Uh, we'll, we'll grab some iron as well, because iron is just always good to have. Wouldn't mind having iron gear. We'll take diamond gear as well, but iron gear is probably what we're going to go with first. We'll, uh, we'll get a lot of diamonds in the vaults, I think, but not so many diamonds in the overworld. So, once we get into the vaults start finding some good loot, then we won't really need to worry about that kind of stuff. But for now, we'll grab what we can. A little bit of gold will be nice, too, so we can go into the uh, into the uh, nether sooner than later. God, this is massive. What a massive hole. What a massive hole you have here. That's going to be really good to uh, look around in for chromatic iron and stuff when we, when we get to that point. Coal? Aha! I found some. You don't need much. Just enough to cook up some of our food. Again, mining and stuff will become a lot easier once we get some skills and stuff from leveling up. So, I guess that's another thing I should mention. Uh, not only do you get loot and stuff in the vaults, but you'll you'll learn magic and you'll learn skills and, uh, and other things to help you kind of progress through Minecraft and its world and whatnot. So, very exciting. We're gonna we're gonna be able to do a lot of cool stuff in this. And uh, if I'm not wrong. I think the new update has uh, has quite a bit of new stuff um, that I've never seen before. So, very good. We'll be able to fling ourselves up in the air. We'll be able to, like, heal ourselves. We'll be able to give ourselves stone skin if we wanted it. So we can fall from really high up and, and not take any damage. Oh, man. It's going to be great. We're going to do a lot of stuff. Um, this is going to be uh, a, a, a semi uh, 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 unedited stream, I guess, uh, a series. Uh... I think I'm gonna do some building off off stream. I'm not gonna I'm not I'm not gonna record myself building some buildings and stuff like that. So I might I might do some of that off stream. But uh, for the most part, I think we're gonna do everything uh, in the video itself. Aside from cutting ahead uh, every now and then to skip out some boring stuff. Um, like right now. I I mean I don't know how how entertaining this is. I'm just getting coal. Just getting coal. Uh, we've probably got enough now. So, with that being said, I think we're going to cook up some of this iron. Oh, there's some coal down here, actually. I'm going to cook up this iron, get us a better pick, and then we're going to go down into the mines. Okay, we made it back with our coal. We've got our food a-cooking now. That should get us nice and stocked up. We'll cook up our little bit of iron as well. And then, uh, and then we should be good to jump into this quest book. I haven't looked at this quest book yet. I don't know what to expect. But I'm very excited. In fact, while we wait for that to cook, why don't we why don't we jump in? Let's see what it says. W. It's just there. Big W. This book is a W. Let me tell you about that. Okay, welcome to Vault Hunter's third edition. This mod pack turns your Minecraft experience into a progression-based action RPG game. It is aimed to be played over a longer period of time and has many accessibility settings to customize your playthrough to suit your playstyle. In this quest line, we teach you about the basic fundamentals of the game and help you get started on your journey. Before you start playing, make sure to set the game to a difficulty that suits you. This can be done in the pause menu. And we offer five different difficulties. These settings affect mob health and damage inside vaults. Uh, we're going to be sticking to normal. Um, just, the, just the regular, normal Vault Hunter's way to play it. Um, I may do some building in creative, but other than that, we're going to stay in, uh, in regular survival mode. Um, we're not going to change any of the vault settings or anything like that. And look at that, we get some vault stake as a reward for completing this quest. Vault Hunter's Introduction. You have completed a quest. Excellent. Complete. And it removes it from the list and brings us to the next quest. 
The first step to starting on your Vault Hunter's journey is finding chromatic iron. This can be found in the deepest parts of your world below Y negative 30. So we need to find 16 raw chromatic iron and then we're given 24 cooked uh, chromatic iron ingots, which is great. We're gonna need that a lot. So Y negative 30, um, you can see under our mini map up here, we've got our coordinates. So that's our X, Y, Z coordinates. So our X right now is 55, our Y is 78, and our Z is 135. So we wanna go down to below negative 30 on that uh, in the, on that middle number. And that's where we should be finding chromatic iron. So we wanted an iron pick um, so that we could mine quickly. And we wanted uh, some iron as well so we have a bit of armor because we're gonna be going underground and there's some horrible, terrible, spooky little beasties down that way. So we gotta be careful. Let's get some stuff made, and then we'll head down into the caves. Holy cow, that's a long way down. All right, we need to find, we need to find like a, a kind of safe way to get down there. I guess we're going to dig out some of this andesite, maybe. Try to make a stairway down some sort. We're gonna need to get back up, too. That's the problem. Oh, boy. Oh, and we got creepers. We got creepers. Oh, boy. Get out of here. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Goodbye, sir. Oh, we need gunpowder. Gunpowder is just always good to have. But that's okay. He did himself in. Hello, sir. Not here to bother you today, so please leave me alone. Thank you. We need to get to what negative thirty. So we need to go down more. I forgot to make. Uh, I forgot to make torches. Crud. Uh, all right. Well, let's try to find some uh, coal again. We're looking for coal once again. Seems to be a common thing that will probably happen multiple times during our adventures. Uh, well, until we get enough to last us. Uh, oh my god, come on. Alright, there's some up there. I've got some shaders on, by the way. That's why everything looks weird. I've got a texture pack on as well. I've also got a physics mod on. That's why you see the mobs fall over and trip and have a silly, goofy fall when they when they die. Just a few little extra things. Just a few little extra things. That's not part of the mod pack, but it does, you know, help it feel a little bit new and a little bit special, a little bit fresh, a little bit different, you know? Here we go. Please tell me I've got some sticks with me. Oh my god. Just need one, one thing of tree. Come here. Come here. We can't leave a half cut down tree just floating here though. We gotta cut it down the whole way so it despawns or else it'll drive me crazy. Uh, new crafting bench. Here we go. Boom. And then some sticks. Now we can make some torches. Now we can see what the heck we're doing. I don't know what the difference between real food and vault food is. Oh, holy crap. That gives you four food, but it gives you 12 saturation, which means it will uh, heal you for a lot longer than the steak will. Okay, so they're basically the same, but it'll heal, just heal you more. Look at this. Look at this. I automatically went back to mining coal without without even thinking about what we're supposed to be doing right now. We've got chromatic iron to find. We gotta get down down back into the deep. I can't stop mining coal. I'm addicted. Okay, we're leaving. We're leaving. We're done. Oh, there's so much more. We're done. There's so much more. I need to pull myself away. No more. I yearn for the coal mines, but no more. No more. Got to go back down into the pit. Lots of clay around as well, which is great. Did not mean to eat the beef right in front of that cow. That must have been awful. That must have been awful for the, for the poor deer. Where's the entrance to this hole? It's right here. Okay. Um, we've also got a mini map in this mod pack. Check this out. I've already made a a, a home castle waypoint. Uh, and this is where we are. This is kind of our little magical forest that we're in. It looks like there's some, some lava patches on the surface, which is going to be really helpful. There's some water nearby. There's some clay and stuff over here, I would imagine. 
Uh, so it looks like we've got a really good spawn. I'm, I'm really thankful for this. This is, this is going to be very helpful. Uh, but because of my distractions, uh, we are not going to get chromatic iron in today's episode. We are going to get it in tomorrow's episode. So stay tuned. We're going to jet back into uh, Vault Hunters tomorrow. I will see you then. We're going to find some chromatic iron and hopefully get a lot more into this quest book. Um, so stay tuned and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs>